This video is sponsored by Snapchat. Yo, what's good? So I know a lot of you guys have been asking for advanced tutorials and here you go. So in this video, we're going to be creating a element 3D earth with text going around if that makes sense. I've made this effect on this edit right here. So there should be one on screen. And I mean, it looks pretty good, right? It looks really good. And I did all of that in Element 3D. I, I I think I made that edit like a year ago, something like that. But people have been asking how I made that. So we're just going to get straight into it. Before we continue, I would like to talk about Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Skillshare is ad free, so you can stay in zone while you're exploring new skills. There's new premium classes launched each week, so there's always something new to discover. And the entire catalog is now available in subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. I'm trying to get into cinematography and film production, and Julian Klepper has helped me achieve just that. By being a member, I was able to learn all these new things, and the first 1,000 people to use the link on my code will get one month free of Skillshare. Big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So of course, the first thing you're going to need is have your composition ready. Okay, so now you need a 3D model. Now I suggest using like something like Turbo Squid to find models. For example, you can type Earth and you'll get some cool Earths. Just that, you know, the prices on these is a little crazy. But right here on price, you can go click this and right here on free, there's 31 free uh, ones but these aren't gonna be you know what i'm saying the best quality but you can try and choose one of these i did recently add my 3d earth model that i'd be using on my edits and stuff so if you want to get this my pay hip link is in the description background with stars that's oh, better one and now you're gonna have a bunch of these little backgrounds with stars i mean that's what she's type, right um and you're just gonna pick one um you don't have to once again because i mean space is kind of like pitch black but there is some stars so i mean you can make it look realistic by having some type of stars for example this one this one could look cool Hello there. Ooh, ooh. Hello, okay so now that you have this we're going to start working on the actual earth and text so we're going to make a solid for the um for the earth and then we're also going to make uh text okay so for the text i think i'm going to type a one um that's my name and then we're going to bring it down and then you can disable it because we're not going to use it. Okay, so on this top layer, we're going to go over to effects and presets and type it element. Um, and then drag this to the clip. And then we're going to have this. Um, we're going to go over to custom layers, custom text and mask because um, this is where we're going gonna to put the text. So on path layer one, none, click your text. It should be different than one because, you know, so once you have all of the things you, you need, you press scene setup. Now you're here. This is where we're going to be making the earth. Once you have this, you go over to import and then import uh, whatever earth you have. Either you got one of the free ones or you pay like a thousand dollars for like a model or you got my model. So, okay. So I imported my earth model as you can see right here. Here you're going to want to select use auto normals. Um, if these are grayed out, leave them that way. If they're not and there's an option, just make sure to click all of them. And then click OK. And now you're going to have this little sphere. Now it's pretty small, so I suggest going to normalize size. Click this and it should make it bigger. Now we're going to have to add the textures. How do we add that? We click this little thing and then right here, go to textures, diffuse, right here where it says none set. Click on it and then click on load texture. Now you're going to want to click this. Now it's going to be different for your model, um, but for mine, you click this. Or if you want it to be night, you can also use this earth which is like um for nighttime and now you're gonna have this now the quality might be like really bad but that's only because we're in element 3d if you would want to see how the quality actually looks like um right here on draft textures uh disable this and as you can see the quality gets much better um now as you can see it looks pretty flat what does that mean it's just like there's no nothing sticking out so to do that basically we're gonna go over to normal bump 
we're gonna have little we're gonna add little bumps to the thing um now if you just increase this nothing's gonna happen right because it doesn't have a texture um so click on none set and then click on low texture and then add this earth normal uh texture that i have yeah so just click ok and then you should be able to see it when you increase this so if you increase it as you can see you have some of the bumps and that's gonna look really cool when you add like shadows and stuff because it's actually gonna reflect off the shadow so um yeah once you have this um we're gonna create a new folder so right click anywhere right here on this blank area and then click new group folder you're gonna get a new folder now we're gonna make this we're gonna put this on group two um so once you have that we're gonna click extrude and we're already gonna automatically have our text um selected okay now this is where we customize the um the text now i'm not gonna be talking all about customizing text or whatever i actually made a full on tutorial on my patreon so that's up to you if you want to you know what i'm saying check that out hold on actually i forgot to say something about the earth so basically if you move the earth as you can see there's some type of reflection on the earth we don't want no reflections on the earth because i mean there's no reflection like in space i don't think or like it's not gonna reflect this way you know so so yeah you don't want that look so to fix that basically make sure your earth is selected and not your text go into the um the textures scroll down a little bit where you see basic settings right here where it says glossiness bring this to zero and then boom you have like a cool earth that looks more realistic so now you should have this now don't freak out i know it looks a little bit weird but we gotta adjust the text and everything so if you remember the text was actually in group two so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to group two and then we're gonna go over to particle look and then we're gonna go over to the form now this is where we're gonna make it bend and wrap around the uh the earth but i'm actually gonna make the, the uh, size a little bit bigger so i can see a little bit better so we're gonna be um talking about bend so right here you have to enable this and then we're gonna click this and bend it about like i'll say 80 and then bend this one more to i say 90 uh like this and then you're gonna click center this is really important so once you have this i'm gonna create a camera um and i'm gonna make this uh 35 millimeter now i'm actually gonna go to custom view and now we have this so we can see how far apart the text is now we don't want it we don't want it that apart and it's also huge so we want to make this a little bit bigger so go to group two you can go to particle replicator and no right here particle size bring this down to where like um to where like it's around the the uh the globe so like this this looks perfect this is actually perfect 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 now we're going to go back to active camera if we go over down here to uh multi object enable multi object and you click where is it right here rotation if you try and rotate these as you can see it's already linked to the text bro like all you have to do is just move this around bro, my food is here out bro i ordered some uber Eats and my food is here so um i'll be right back so i got some water burger um you probably haven't heard of this because it's only in texas i believe so but yeah, it's low-key satisfying just listening to me opening this for some reason i don't know but yeah i should probably make like another channel where i just talk about myself or like you know things other than editing but let me know what you think about that and we back okay so i told y'all to move these and play with these but as you can see if, if you move the x rotation it's gonna go like it's, it's good right but if you move the y rotation the letters are gonna like be weird okay so i don't suggest using this um like most y'all they don't use this go over to particle look and then click particle rotation and then use this so if you use y it actually goes around without the letters moving and stuff so um this is the what we're going to use okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to world rotation and then it's world skill we're gonna uh do this but now as you can see the, the background is not moving so what you want to do is make this background a 3d layer and now it should move hold on let me see nope it's not moving and that's because you need to make a null object so layer new null, null object put this to the top make this a 3d layer 
and then uh, put the camera in the null. So if we try and move this, as you can see, now the whole thing moves. So we're going to have it right here. But as you can see, the picture is like um, it ends right here. Bring it back and then like this and then press S and scale it up. I'm going to go back to this layer right here and I'm going to rotate this uh, like this. Why am I doing this? Because, you know what I'm saying, teacher Juan in the building. Actually, if you did not know, Earth has a tilt to it. It's not perfectly aligned. It, it's tilted a little bit. Um, and that is because a long, a long time ago when Earth was young. It is thought that something bit hit Earth and knocked it off Kittler. So instead of rotating with its axis straight up and down, it leans over a bit. I definitely did not read that from Google. No, okay. Okay, I did read it off Google, but I been knew it had a little tilt. Okay, so we're going to do this, and it's going to zoom in like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the Earth, and I'm going to go to Particle Replicator Rotation. I want it to rotate like a whole bunch. So there you go. You have this, and now the text is just sitting there. So we want the, the text to be behind and then coming back. So we're going to go over to Group 2, and then oh, we already have the, the, um, the keyframe, which I believe is this, right? Yeah, so we're gonna it's gonna start it's gonna end right here and we're just gonna go to the negative so I can go this way or you can go to the positives and it will be coming from this side but I want I'm come I'm make I'm gonna make it come from this side so if I play it, it's gonna be something like this now it's when it's zooming in it's a little bit stiff so I'm gonna I'm gonna um zoom it in one more time like a little bit closer to the uh, text and there you go you have this little animation with the earth now of course you don't have to do this you have a bunch of um things you can add implement maybe more planets maybe more text maybe you know what I'm saying different things i'm just trying to show you like the basics on how to do this now another thing if you want to add shadow and stuff so what you can do go over to uh render settings and we go over to ambient occlusion if you turn this on you should have shadows as you can see um and then you, you just turn this up and you have more shadows and as you can see you have shadows now it looks more realistic because you can actually tell or feel like it's on top of there because the shadows and stuff so so yeah that's pretty much it for this video thank you skillshare for sponsoring this video and if you enjoyed this video and you would like more uh element 3d tutorials like this one make sure to let me know down in the description not description in the comments don't forget to drop a like that helps me a lot you're watching these videos for free so might as well drop a like and while you're at it subscribe you know what i'm saying help me reach 50k because you know that's the goal for the year but i hey, hope you have a great rest of your day goodbye Delicious, y'all, so...